welcome to Cable Magic and now we're looking at a digital eight-way splitter. Uh, this connection on the top is the input and then you have eight outputs. Eight-way splitter, a five to one thousand megahertz, meaning it's a basic free-to-air splitter, handles all the frequencies for digital broadcasting from channel 2 up to 55 and, and even more than that but that's uh, basically will work in any UHF or VHF area. What I really wanted to point out to you is a splitter will have an input and it's got these outputs, the screw on connection which means it's a digital splitter, digital compliant, F type they call it. There's one particular output, this one here and you might be able to see that red line coming in where it says in going across to where it says out written in red and it's got power pass written on it this point this outlet this one here that I've got my finger on is different from all the other seven that's called the power pass typically if you're using an eight-way splitter, a six-way splitter, if there's a six-way splitter, an eight-way splitter, this is an eight-way splitter, in your system, in your house, in your building, in an antenna system, there will be a very high probability that there is a booster somewhere, a masthead amplifier. And that comes with a power pack. A power pack is a 12-volt transformer that will send 12 volts up to the booster up on the roof un under the antenna. <clears throat> the signal from the antenna will come down through cable, connect to the input here, and then you'll have uh, your cables coming off the splitter. It, as an example, there would be eight or seven for for, for an eight-way splitter. And the one that uh, needs to have the power pack on it. You've got a booster up there amplifying the signal so there's enough signal to go to eight TVs etc. And this power pack will be inside plugged into a one of the TV points and it would have to be connected to the leg of cable that connects to this output because this one is a special one, the power pass. Basically this connection, if we were to pull this apart, basically this connection, this outlet only, allows the 12 volts to go through the splitter. None of these other outputs do. And on different brands of splitter, it won't always be, you know, this output that's uh, facing forward, this one here. They can, I have seen different brands where, it, where it's this one here or this one here, um, but there's always a sticker, usually, or an indication on a splitter that tells you which one the power pass is. There are cheap splitters that don't indicate or have a power pass, but um, they're very rare. You will find that every splitter, 90% of them, have power pass on one of the outputs. That is the, that is the leg of cable you connect the power pack to. And uh, you can find more about that on the masthead amplifier video or the power pack video um, what they look like and how they work but here you have it this is an eight-way splitter and uh, pretty self-explanatory these are available from cable magic